各位线上好朋友们，大家好，我是阿翔，很高兴可以和大家一起并肩为倡议法税人权，继续努力。俗话说，人为财死，鸟为食亡，贪财是人性的弱点，小则影响个人，大则灭国。在中国历史上，税制的变革和税官对朝代的兴亡影响最大。正如古人所说：“财富者，邦国大本，而生人之猴命，天下自乱，众卿戏焉。”从夏代以来，每个朝代的税制都不尽相同，每个朝代的变革都和税制息息相关。人们所熟知的商鞅变法、王安石变法。张居正改革都是以税制改革为核心。以古鉴今，自古朝代的灭亡都是因为税的不公义。不公义的税制是直接严重侵害天赋人权当中的生存权。多行不义必自毙。就连兴盛长达三千多年的古埃及王朝，也都是因为税官的贪婪而走向灭亡。因税而亡的古埃及王朝，拥有金字塔及狮身人面像的古埃及王朝，曾经兴盛三千年。古埃及能维持和平这么长久的原因，在于税收制度。当时的埃及税负不重，收税效率又很好，这个工作由基层的税务员负责。农民要课征收成税，是按照土地面积预估收成的量来课税。税务员们都把数字算得精准又公平，他们也要检查人民农作物的储存量来查税。当然，也有税务员私自提高税金，再放进自己口袋，他们被称为贪官。法老为了保障人民。避免贪污，会规定，如果平民缴不出税金，就减三分之二税额；而且，如果想尽办法人缴不出来，就不再追讨。古埃及也有监督的机制，如果税务员超收税金，就要割掉鼻子，并流放到阿拉伯。但再好的制度，还是挡不住人心的腐败。古埃及后期，税务员们把税金放进自己口袋，法老为了弥补亏空的国库，只好拉高税率。农民缴不出高额税金，放弃耕种，作物减少，税收不足，人民无法安居乐业，开始寻找其他的依靠。当时的阿蒙神庙是法老祭祀的神庙。因为神庙的土地与收成不需要课税，所以缴不起税的人民就逃进神庙里。末期国家的税收只有原来的二分之一，减少的税金都成为阿蒙神庙的势力。等到阿蒙神庙宣布独立，古埃及四分五裂，最后被强国消灭了。明君以民为本。苦民所苦，好的税制可以兴国，使国家团结富强。贪婪的税官却如蠹虫啃食国本，民心离散，参天大树轰然而倒，国危矣。最近几年，因为新冠疫情的关系，许多行业受到了冲击，民众的收入也连带的影响。行政院主计总处去年的十二月二十三号就公布了二零二零年薪资中位数是五十点一万元，换算成月薪相当于是四点二万，也就是说，全台湾有一半的上班族月薪不到四点二万元。财政部也公布了我国去年税收达到了两兆八千四百五十亿元，较预算目标数超增了四千亿元。总税收和超增数都写下了历史新纪录，但是经济明显的衰退，人民薪资倒退，物价持续高涨，政府却可以年年超增，更创下了历史新高纪录。两种数据呈现出互相矛盾的现象，实在是令人不理解。
。最近新闻提到，立法院三读通过了税捐激增法部分条文修法案，其中第二十八条修正案，如果一缴税款因为政府机关的错误，由无期限修正为十五年。谢哲的修法逻辑和太极门假案非法税单不撤销，只是更正为零，完全相同。这样的税制代表着戒严时期的威权思考和手段，已经严重的威胁到了人民的生存权和财产权。这些没有还一季的，那你现在啊、哦，所有我们这个税务人员都有年终奖金啊，有考绩奖金啊，啊、哦，还有不休假奖金，你现在又变相跟人家拿这个奖励金，合理吗？你说税务体系哈、啊啊，这个执法体系啊，如果待遇不高哈、啊，它不足以养年了，不足以养年了。收到国税局的呃通知，说要我缴奢侈税。我们夫妻俩名下只有这一间房子，而且户籍也在他规定的期限迁进去。他用了各种法条解释，你就是要缴这个奢侈税五百多万。如果不缴的话，再加计罚金，总共将近一千万。扣了我们五千多万的税，结果我老公被限制出境，卡在国外。我当时小朋友一个一岁，一个三岁，现在小朋友已经十岁了。就因为国税局乌龙的税单，而他们明明知道这个乌龙税单，可是却不愿意更改。太极门税案，最高法院已经判决确定无罪无税，也获得国家冤律赔偿，更被监察院列为国家重大人权保障案件。但太极门的土地竟还遭到违法强行拍卖。二零二一年的夏天，在华盛顿特区，平反一二一九行动联盟的成员参与了为期三天的国际宗教自由高峰会。The charter that we put forward for this summit is a broad-based charter for all faiths or people of no faith at all, but it's about protecting that right of freedom of belief or conscience, freedom of religion. Tajman case. It is not, and it never was, a pure. Tax case. It's a human rights case because the first human right is freedom of religion or belief. In September, at the 88th Human Rights Council session, we renew our appeal for Tajimen. This time, we highlighted the confiscation of this Tajimen place of worship by the Taiwanese government. This is another form of discri discrimination. Just as serious because a spiritual community cannot exist without a place of worship. Today, the situation of the Taiji men can no longer be ignored in the world, and the Taiwanese government must allow the Taiji men to enjoy their property, their place of worship, and to make their contribution to world peace without war. Twenty-five senior international scholars and human rights activists just wrote this month. President Tsai asking for a political solution of the Taijiman case. 
。太极门其实是二十五年的时间了哈，判决还给他们的清白的话，就应该执行下去了。所有对宗教，无论是非宗教的这一个最高法院的判决，那个是应该是唯一公正的，对我们整个法治的一个国家是非常公正的。我们的财务这个部分的话，已经越过了这一个人权自由的一个底线了。所以，这我们那个外交部啦，哈，无论是司法单位，或者是我们是说我们的财务国税局这个部分的话。都要以这个为依据，大家一起要努力了。你们努力也是给台湾政府更大的努力了，帮助台湾政府站在一种正呃正向的力量跟正义的一个力量。太极门假案九十六年七月十三号，法院已经还给太极门清白无罪五千岁，所有的被告都获得了冤狱赔偿，而且监察院也将此假案列为第三件人权迫害指标性案件。但是媒体会问，国人也会问，既然如此，为何还没有解决？我们让国际专家学者用其毕生研究人权迫害的学术实务经验来告诉大家。Celebrate justice. We celebrate freedom for Tai Chi Man and for Taiwan. Thank you for your attention. We congratulated citizens for so much progress over the past few decades. Deplorable as it is, the fight for justice and freedoms is not without the necessary sacrifices. The battle never ends. Its road is unpaved with twists and turns. Some seek the freedom to trade. And make an honest living. Others feel the necessary for to fight for the right of association. Again, others maintain that the freedom of conscience, of freedom for, for persecution, is paramount. Freedom of expression is a much sought-after right. And again, the freedom of movement or the freedom from foreign oppressing powers are important too. All these forms of freedoms are good for both the individual and the nation. There is an overarching structure that could liberate a nation and set all its citizens free from all those freedoms mentioned. It is not by lawlessness, corruption, or the dictates of a small group at the top. Paradoxically, these protections are found in the opposite, namely, the rule of law. Just laws make people free. There is one vital prerequisite for this overarching legal system to work: laws need to be applicable to all equally. No state authorities, no politician, no matter how powerful he or she is, no police, no corporation, government agency, not even the tax authority, no religious leader. Can change or bend a just law without the frowning eye of an independent judiciary. The application of the rule of law goes hand in hand with strong anti-corruption policy. Taiwan is numbered 35 in the Global Corruption Index scale. Considering the numerous corruptive acts by the Taiwan National Tax Bureau, which were overturned in the court of law time and time again. Could raise Taiwan's national interests. 
the National Tax Bureau still gets away with trumped up fraud charges, coercion, threats, illegal raids and confiscation and auction off property, theft, imprisonment and slander of the Taiji men and its ditzi. After 25 years, the judiciary has no grip on these illegal practices and perpetrators have not been prosecuted. There has been no redress on the abuse of power of the National Tax Bureau. Nations consists of humans, valuable humans. They need to be equally protected by independent and powerful courts. Any nations that assumes that the right of these humans are subject to the needs of the nation may one day find that there are no more humans to left to rule over. The rule of law for each individual and organization equally remains the core of any government mandate. We wish Taiwan to succeed on the road to freedom and liberty. Thank you. Taiwan, a democratic country, claims to be founded on the respect for the rule of law. In a democracy, citizens must be able to rely upon a judiciary that is independent, on a legislature that respects fundamental rights and on an executive that abides by its own rules. Respect for these basic principles forms the basis of democracy and should be its central value. For years and decades, the rule of law in Taiwan has been under threat of a specific state organ, the National Taxation Bureau, which undermines the efficiency of the judiciary. What is at stake in the case of Taiji Men is the system of bonuses by which there is a conflict of interest leading to the over collection of taxes and even the fabrication of tax evasion cases. This is an obvious abuse of power for private financial gain and the pyramidal scam as officials at all levels pocket winnings. The beneficiaries of this rotten system are the Ministry of Finance, the National Tax Bureau and the Enforcement Agency. Noteworthy is that this bonus system which is a product of the martial law era, has no legal basis. But a fund is budgeted for this system every year. Businesses are often coerced by tax officers to pay some unjustified taxes. And some tax officers would even conduct malicious tax audits just for the sake of bonuses. In a number of cases, including the Taiji Man case, the enforcement agency would forcibly auction the property of individuals, companies, or non-profit making associations, although they don't owe any tax. Last but not least, issuing a so-called wrong tax bill is not punishable by internal sanctions, or by law. Comprehensive legal reforms are needed to address the lack of transparency and accountability in this agency. We want to advocate for the respect for the rule of law in Taiwan in a constructive way. We have already made recommendations to the Taiwanese authorities that were based on the analysis of Taiji Man's case a former judge, and also lawmakers. With CHESDUR, the Center for Studies of New Religious Movements, we have raised awareness among human rights organizations, political and academic circles, about the damage caused by the National Taxation Bureau to the rule of law in Taiwan. This information campaign of the international community through publications, seminars, and conferences will go on as long as a solution has not been brought to the problem 
of Taijiman. 法治是民主很重要的一部分。每个人都必须依循明确规范的法律，包括统治者本身。但是现在的政府违反了民主法治的原则，恣意的解释法律，制造统治者威权的法律，打开民主倒车。造成了二零二零年有一千四百三十一万件强制执行新增案件，去年又新增了一千两百七十四万件。台湾人真的这么爱欠税欠费吗？去年超增的四千亿元里面有多少和太极门假案一样，是非法课税、非法执行的受害人呢？太极门假案不是个案，是通案。希望太极门师徒帮台湾背起法税十字架，能够唤起全体官员勇于认错、改正，全体国人升起恻隐之心，加速台湾法税真改革，良心救自己。Our voice will not be silenced until the voice of justice will speak and solve the case. 